Are you ready to pass that notary public exam the first time like I did? Well, I want you to. So check this out. Today, we're going to talk about the notary public journal and what happens if you lose it. This might be on a test. Stay tuned. Do you see it over there? I see it. It's your future. You have five appointments today. You're notarizing for five different clients today. You're doing loan docs for five different clients today. You're notarizing five different weddings today. You're going to a prison and doing notarization for somebody at the prison and getting paid for that. That's your future. But first, you have to pass the notary exam. So let's talk about this real quick. Um, as I mentioned, your notary public journal, extremely important, extremely important. And there are rules to how it should be stored. And they might question you about that on the notary exam, but you'll recognize it because we're going to talk about it today. And boom, those are going to be extra points so that you get that 70% or over that you need to pass the test, right? Uh, one of the, my biggest sources is the notary public handbook. Remember, I tell you that. So if you want to study that, go ahead and study. But if you want me to say it verbally to you, you got me here too doing it. Now, let's let's hit it. The notary public journal, I know you need it in California. I know you need it in New York. And you need it in a list of place, other places. Next, vi One of these videos I'm going to make next is telling you what states actually need it. But let's talk about if that is if it's lost. Okay, let's get to that. And let me read it to you because this, this is the kind of verbiage they're going to use on the, you know, on most likely on the test. If the sequential journal is stolen, lost, misplaced, destroyed, damaged, or otherwise um, found to be unusable, the notary public must do what? A, go buy a new one. B, throw it in the trash. C, lock it in his desk. Or D, immediately notify the Secretary of State by certified registered mail or any other means of physical delivery that provides a receipt. Of course, it's D. And I'm going to read it to you. All right. It says here, if it's lost or stolen or damaged or found unusable, the notary public must immediately notify the Secretary of State by certified mail or registered mail or any other means of physical delivery that provides a receipt. And what's going to go in that package, okay? The notification must include the periods of the journal entries, the notary public commission number, that's your commission number, the commission expiration date, and when applicable, a photocopy of the police report that lists the journal. The police report. Ooh, you better, guys better be taking notes or play this 5, 10, 15 times. Because if you play it 5, 10, 15 times, it's going to sink in and this is going to be free points for you. The bottom line is you can't stick your head under a rock if you lose that journal. And there are clear, detailed, and specific actions that must be taken if the journal is lost, stolen, damaged, or unusable. And there's clear and specific things that you must include in this package that you send to who? The Secretary of State by certified or registered mail, making sure you have a receipt. Definitely with those guys, you gotta do that. And again, this is what you need to include in that package. The periods of the journal entries, so you might need to keep that that notes that separately, you know, throughout your documentation. So if this ever comes up, you know what the periods were. Um, the period that this is covering, a photocopy of a police report. So it sounds like you have to get a police report. Um, let's see, your commission number, your commission ex number expiration date, and those are the things. Last time, last run through. If it's lost, contact what? Boom. Secretary of State, right? 
Uh, how do you contact them? Boom. Registered mail or any other means of mail that gives you a physical receipt in case they say, hey, we never received it. You didn't send it. You got a receipt, proof of receipt that, yes, you did. What are you going to include in there? You're going to make sure it includes the period of your journal entry. And it has your commission number. And it has the expiration date of your commission number. And if applicable, that means if your state requires requires it, you want a photo copy of the police report that lists the journal. I hope this helps you. Well, it will help you if you study it. Oh, I didn't ask you to do me a favor. Click that like button. Subscribe. Join the community. Help me grow. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. I need you, baby. Let's pass this test the first time and make that money that I saw you making when I started this video. See you next time. This is Sean with My Notary Journey.